Hi, in this video from tvtrade.e we're basically going to show you how you can configure the NetDVR program um, to remotely view your uh, DVR uh, via PC or laptop, something like this, okay? So after you've installed the NetDVR program, which we've shown you in the previous video, you'll get an icon like this on your actual desktop. Now I just have it in a little folder here just for handiness sake. But um, it's just called Net, Net DVR Shortcut, okay? So all you have to do is simply double click on it and it opens up. And what you want to do is, again, with your static IP, which you should have obtained from your broadband provider, type it in here. So it's going to be something like, it'll be in that format, uh, 12 digits, uh, each, each three digit section perforated by a, um, a full stop, okay? The media port, which is very important, is 9000 okay the password is going to be whatever you set it up with um inside the dvr and we've shown you how to do that in a previous video so just say for argument's sake it was one two three four now you would never use one two three four it's an absolutely terrible password so what we would suggest is you set something up semi-complicated maybe a combination of numbers and letters but clearly something that you will remember okay um then you get a choice of network you can either connect over the LAN or you can connect over the internet. Now in this case, you'd be connecting over the internet, but if you wanted to use the LAN, okay, um, now hold on, I'll explain this a little bit better. If you wanted to connect over the internet, obviously you use your static IP, which your broadband provider gave to you, okay? But if you wanted to connect over the LAN, the settings would be the same, password and media port, but the IP address would be different, and the IP address would be the static IP that you gave the DVR, to which we've shown in a previous video, okay? And not to be confused with the static IP that the um, broadband provider has given you, okay? So just to be clear on that, the LAN static IP is different than the actual broadband IP that the, your actual provider has given you, okay? So just to reiterate, the LAN one will go in here. It probably will be of the form 10.2 something point something point something or 192 point something point something point something but if you connect to the internet or if you use the internet setting it's going to be again you know a 12 a 12 digit uh, number but it'll be the one that your broadband provider um has given you now i know i've gone on about it there but i just want to be absolutely clear that you understand the difference okay and obviously then you'll just pick your language you know normally people just pick it english or whatever and if you have it set up right then all you have to do is click login and um you'll see your dvr now i'm just going to click login but clearly this isn't going to work because there's no such ip as this that i've set up or whatever okay but if you had your correct ip um this would work now the reason we're not doing this is we don't want to give out our static ip in public um which is kind of understandable but if i if i just put that in there and had the correct password um you would see all our cameras come up but that's basically it how you can get your um net dvr program um, how to configure it basically uh, to view your DVR remotely.